My name is Hugh Downs. I'm the coordinator for the Rainy River District Substance Abuse Prevention Team. You may have heard of the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'm here today to introduce the final product of a photo voice project that was recently completed in one of our communities. Photo voice is a photographic technique used in health promotion and community development to identify issues and act for social change. Photo voice has three goals. One is to enable people to record and reflect their community strengths and problems. Two, to promote dialogue about important issues. And three, to communicate with decision makers and act for social change. This project was conducted with young people who were given cameras and asked to go and take pictures to answer the question, what has influenced you to use or not to use drugs and alcohol in your high school career? After the pictures were taken, the youth continued their discussion and created captions, which were attached to each of the photographs to help answer that question. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Okay, Kuchitang First Nations Youth Photo Voice 2009. What factors influenced you to use or not to use alcohol or drugs in your high school career? Pictures were shot and complied by 10 participants. Approximately 5 pictures per person were selected. All pictures have captions. The caption expresses the feeling of the person who took the picture in relation to the picture. 60 plus pictures were edited. 232. Six categories. <laughs> Family, healthy living, culture, choices and future, elders, hobbies. There. The participants determined that there was six primary categories that influence you to use the use of non-use of the drugs and alcohol during their high school career. There are four pictures in the family category. Positive role model. This this young boy looks up to their older siblings as a role model. Um, their older siblings want to set a positive example for the young boy to follow. People I love. Okay, each item in this picture represent like people around the person that they love, whether they're gone or they're still with us today. The things around me that I love. Focus more on the things around you that you care about, that you have great feelings for, instead of going around like doing drugs and drinking. Being a positive role model for others. Um, the younger kids these days, they, they look up to you, like up to their cousins, aunties, uncles, and they, the, like monkey see, monkey do, they'll do whatever they say you do, because they, like they think you're cool. There are seven pictures in healthy living category. Personal enjoyment rather than personal endangerment. Focus your time more on like things that will keep you busy like your music, laptops, and like taking pictures and stuff because it would be like a different way to express the way you feel. Enjoying the great outdoors. Go outside and do something instead of staying inside being bored because if you stay inside um, you're more tempted to do things if you don't keep your mind focused on something else. Drugs cause poor health, physical activities promote healthy living. Um, the caption says it all. Fry bread, not your brain. Doing drugs causes health problems. Um, more health problems like are caused by like overdose and like alcohol poisoning and stuff. Drugs can ruin the essence of life. Um, in this picture, imagine it without all the trash in it. That would be basically like your mind, like your imagination before, but then like after the drugs, all you really can focus on is just that type of drug that you're doing because it, it does get you addicted in some kind of way. Take time to reflect. Take the time to reflect everything that, like everything that's in your mind. Because if you do something like drugs or alcohol, you have to expect the consequences for it later. There are six pictures in culture category. Keeping the tradition alive. Drugs and like the drum, they don't mix at all 
To be in touch with my spirituality. You're not supposed to touch the shawl or the eagle feather if you're under any kind of influence. And you don't really see like a Christian holding a Bible, walking around, blazing it up or drinking. Healing and empowerment. Um, in this picture, it is a healing dress. In the Aboriginal culture, it's for healing people. Yes. Honoring our country. <laughs> Um, most Canadians, they're proud to be Canadian, and when people come from like different countries, like um, exchange students from like around the world, and they've never been to Canada before, and you don't want them seeing like the youth outside, like smoking weed or drinking and stuff, walking around the public drunk, because you want to set a good example. You want to show them how like Canadians are proud of their country. My grandma teaches me about our culture. When you're under drugs or alcohol, you, you don't really want to listen to your elders. You don't really want to hear what they got to say. It's just all you're focused on is when, when's the next time you're getting high? When's the next time you're going to have alcohol in you? Keeping in touch with your cultural roots. This picture is a picture of our Palo Grounds like before. They fixed it up now, but um, when you look at that picture, it's ridiculous to see how badly they've let um, our culture slip. Um, to get to that point is pretty ridiculous.